Hello, I'm Neil Melville. I'm a UK-based dartfish instructor. And here in the UK, teachers are one of our biggest groups of dartfish users. And when I'm instructing them on how to apply dartfish to their teaching, one of the first questions I often get asked is, what does dartfish do? The answer I give to that is that Dartfish is PC software that makes it easy to use video as part of an instructional process. Now, that might be for feedback, feed forwards, or instruction, or the creation of video based teaching resources, or exam resources. So, if you think about how video can contribute to your lessons and your teaching, the purpose of Dartfish is to make it easy to integrate the use of video seamlessly. In this series of videos, I will be showing you examples of exactly what this means. And while they're not intended to be tutorials, they will give you some idea of how easy it is to use Dartfish software. Dartfish has a set of different tools in its toolbar. The In the Action tool is the one intended for providing instant action replay of a performance. In the Action works by receiving live images directly from the camcorder. I simply connect the camcorder with a firewire cable, switch it on, and the link to Dartfish is automatic. So here you see me, sitting at my desk, live. Now I can do one of two things. I can delay the time taken for the image to appear on the screen. By doing this I create a mirror, but it is a mirror that waits for me before showing my reflection. And that gives me time to perform an action. I'm throwing a ball now, and some seconds later I get to review that throw. Here's a real life example of this as Paul Collins, a teacher in Somerset, explains how he uses this live delay feature. The shadow badminton is simply a method of raising the pupil's pulse as a warm up, but also encouraging them to move around the court. Still, there's an observer on the side of the court who will be looking for are they turning their back on the net? Are they using appropriate speed? Are they covering the full area of the court? And how we had the ICT set up was a delay -a function. And there was a 25 second delay on the software which allowed the pupils to perform the routine. They could then turn around, look at the screen and actually see themselves performing. Now, that's a very simple way of capturing the clips. Those clips aren't stored, it's just an instant feedback so the pupils can watch that back again. What that delayer also does is free me up from the laptop. I can just let it run, I can move away, pupils can then keep performing. As you might expect, Dartfish can also record the live feed to the computer. That will create a video file on the computer's hard disk. There's a feature here that makes it really convenient for a teacher to use. I can set a fixed recording duration. This means that I don't need to remember to stop recording, Dartfish will do it for me. The pre-record is the number of seconds I want to include in my video before I press the record button. And that's going to allow me to watch a performance before I decide whether I want to record it or not. With the file name and recording location defined in advance, now I'm ready to go full screen and the lesson is ready to begin. Dartfish comes with a remote control which has a range of 20 to 30 meters and that's great because I can teach more naturally without having to station myself behind the computer. The remote lets me pause the video, slow it down and step through it frame by frame by frame to allow me to make quality observations of the kind of thing that you simply don't notice when playing at full speed. Furthermore, the recording plays in a loop, so there's no need to rewind tapes or repeatedly press the play button. Here's Paul again describing his pupil's use of recording. And now can you capture another clip for me? The pre-roll function allows the user to record what has happened a set amount of time before. 
the reason it's very effective for me as a teacher is that they're having to evaluate the performance all of the time. They're having to think, is that the type of clip that I wanted to capture? No, it's not that one. Then they see, yes, I want to capture what has just happened. All they then simply do is press record and it can record a pre-set amount of time. You have to decide what is the most appropriate pre-roll for the particular activity. That so that's the In The Action tool, two methods of using the live feed directly from a camcorder. In fact, the In The Action tool does a lot more. How about having a reference clip playing at the same time as you're recording? Or what about annotating the screen with teaching points or lines to indicate boundaries of movement or axes of symmetry? Video can be a very effective way of introducing a new drill or a new technique, and Dartfish has a range of presentation tools which will help you with this. Before the lesson, I'll start by searching my library for suitable content. With the items in my playlist, I can be selective about the part of the video clip I want to play by setting a cue in and a cue out marker. So, with my playlist prepared, I'm ready for the lesson. I'll put the video into its full screen view. And now I can use the remote control to pause, step through the video frame by frame by frame. move between the different videos that I have loaded and slow down the speed. So, simple stuff, but an effective way of instructing athletic technique or introducing new steps for a dance routine. The concept of the playlist is taken further with the analyzer storyboard. With this I can load video clips as I did before, but I can also load them side by side. Or blend them together for comparison. So that's going to take a little more preparation, but I'll save it so I can reuse it. And once again, during the lesson, I can use full screen view and use the remote control to control playback. A storyboard might be used for comparing different clips as we saw before, but it can also be used for reviewing different parts of a much longer video. For each instance of this video, I can choose where I want to start watching, and finish watching to review different items that take place within the video. So Dartfish makes it easy to present, but more importantly, it makes it easy to present exactly what you want to show.